I'm in the middle of practice in here. Got a little concert coming up uh, next Saturday, I think, May 15th, by the way, in case anybody is in Northern California and wants to check out a uh, show. I'm playing with three classical guitar players. Each of us are doing a set of about 20 minutes, so I have to figure out how to play everything I know in 20 minutes, putting together a medley of a bunch of things that are like 10 seconds long each. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Anyway, I can take a break from that and give you the news. It's Friday, May 7th here in beautiful Northern California. Loving this spring weather here. So uh, let's see, a few, a few loose ends from last week. Oh, I gotta tell you about this. Not too, you guys weren't even close on this. My favorite songwriter, guys, it was Al Stewart from an album uh, in the late 80s that he put out on the Enigma label called Last Days of the Century. So uh, some very cool tunes on here. The song specifically was called Fields of France, and it's a song that uh, about a biplane fighter pilot going out for what he doesn't know is going to be his last mission in 1917. And uh, anyhow, it's a song he usually played, usually was, uh, would only perform with piano players, but luckily the first time I played with him, I had told him I could play that on the guitar, and he says, oh, well, I never play that song live because I never have a piano player. I said, we'll do it. So uh, a little bit of what, how, how Al and I kind of bonded was the fact that I loved that tune and could, uh, had put together a guitar arrangement that he could sing to. So that was it, Fields of France. Um, let me think. The big news, the lessons that we've put out lately. I hope everybody saw last Friday's uh, episode of, of Dave Coldren uh, putting out um, his keyboard thing. That's what I'm thinking about. Of Imagine. Again, we're gonna put, we're gonna throw in some uh, keyboard lessons every once in a while, just to give you guys again a little bit more variety. But uh, really glad to have Dave on board as an occasional contributor. And then, of course, we had this week started with one of my favorite tunes. Steve Howe, and I appreciate uh, somebody putting up the video there of, of Steve, Steve and his monster hands picking through. You can see when his fingers do that, it's very easy because of the size, size of his hands. So anyway, roundabout, just the intro to roundabout, didn't get too much into the yet. I'm not sure if we will yet or not. And then of course we went into the Beatles. Um, anyhow, so the lesson on, on Let It Be is more of a campfire tune. We had Jimmy Page. How's it go? Something like that. I get all my tunes confused, because then we also had Joe Walsh. So, some kind of cool rocking tunes this week uh, showed up on the, on the Target menu. Uh, let's see, what else? The big news. Oh, menu additions. This is really cool. Matt and Mike and Jim and Naz have been working hard on some neat additions. There's now a, a link that will take you right to where all the student uploaded videos are and my responses to them and I'm getting back to, I'm, I'm, I'm almost back on to getting back to some responses. I uh, have been slacking, well, <laughs> otherwise occupied lately, but uh, I, I have seen some of the ones that went up there. I just haven't had a chance to get uh, critical about them. So, and then also an, an instant link to where we have the YouTube previews of all of the stuff at the site. So again, that's all stuff that's available, at least the YouTube things, to anybody that wants to wants to check out some of the lessons that we have going way back to day one, which was a little over a year ago now. And then we also have uh, our Facebook link. So if you, uh, who out there is not involved in Facebook? I'm not sure yet. But if you uh, see up there in the upper, wait a minute, left, right, in the upper right hand corner of the main menu, you'll see that we have a thing where you can tag us with, with Facebook things. So that, that's kind of cool, cool too. Some questions have come up about Guitar Pro. And we're working on a fix for this because Again, they kind of caught us off guard with the Guitar Pro 6, which is an incredible improvement on Guitar Pro 5. Um, but because it's so complex, anything saved in Guitar Pro 6 format is not, there's nothing Guitar Pro 5 can do with it. So we are kind of working on maybe going back a little bit and trying to resurrect some of the files. As Matt uh, let you know, I had replaced it on 
both computers, well, there are a lot of computers around here. I did find one that still has GP5 on it uh, that I might be able to resurrect uh, uh, some of those. So we will keep working on that. Um, and But I could also certainly use some help. Uh, Chaz, I believe, had a great suggestion about exporting it as an ASCII file and then importing it into GP5. And if somebody would be willing to help us out with that, that would be great. And you could uh, we'll, f we'll figure out a way for you to email them or post them to, to some place where we could then add those back to the lessons. This only goes back to lessons that have come out in the last six weeks or so because the, uh, it wasn't until then, it was about six weeks ago, I think it was the beginning of March or so that um, I, uh, beginning of March? Yeah, no, end of March. I think it was the end of March. Um, anyway, so if you, got, if you can help us out with uh, trying, to, trying to convert some of those, let us know. Put a post on the forum or something, something there because that would be, that would be really helpful. We had, um, let's see, I have two other, the big announcement for today is, I don't know if this is big, but it is, it is kind of for us because we are bringing to an end again the ability to join by monthly memberships. And, and, and it, you'll just be able to go for six months or a year now. So the monthly membership option will be running out over this weekend. So if anybody is still on the fence about joining the Target program and wants to get in for just a month or so, or a month at a time, you have a couple of days to decide that it might be worth a $29 a month test drive and see, see what you think. So also uh, a couple of very cool threads going on on the forum that I want to thank you guys for. One was the have you stayed the course and this was this was really neat so I, I to see how people kind of summarize their year um, or if it hasn't been quite a year depending on when everybody joined at the uh, with the target program and I really appreciate all the positive responses that we got to people and of how it's really affected their guitar playing and their lives in general and stuff so it is it uh, Thanks a lot for that. I really appreciate that. Now, the other thread about have you fired your guitar teacher worries me a bit because, of course, uh, I have a soft spot in my heart for guitar teachers because it's a hard way to make a living, folks. So, uh, but anyway, I was glad. It's, it, that was kind of a cute little thread, too. So if you haven't seen either of those two threads, check out the have you stayed the course thread and the I just fired my guitar teacher thread. But I hope nobody's thinking about firing me as a guitar teacher because I love doing this. And uh, in any case, we have been, we've had a great time, time here over the last, well, actually over the last year. I gotta, I gotta say, this has been really fun. And I think I need to get back to practicing a little bit. Nova piece I put together a couple years ago called Along the Way. Someday I'll write it down and maybe even record it. 